Every day is Halloween in this place. What are you gonna be? Officer Mike down the block's gonna let me use his policeman's hat. I'm going as a cop. What's the matter with you? With me? What are you doing to my son? Oh, so now he's your son alone? Because of you, I'm alone with Let me tell you something. No kid of mine is gonna be a cop for Halloween, and that's it. It's not gonna happen. Honey, he's just a kid. Today he wants to be a cop, tomorrow an astronaut. If I ever hear that you let my son or any of my kids, or you for that matter, talk to that cop or any cop, I'll kill you. Relax. He's just being nice to your son. Don't make me repeat myself, Victoria. And you, you don't dress like a cop, you don't act like a cop, and you don't talk like a cop. You understand me? The court grants bail in the amount of $1 million. Your Honor, as the court has granted bail for Mr. Gotti, we also request that bail be set at a reasonable amount for Mr. Johnson. Your Honor, we have strong reason to believe that this defendant's life will be in serious jeopardy if he is granted bail. And why would that be? Because Wilfred Johnson has been a confidential informant for the FBI for the past 19 years. It's a lie! Order. Daddy, Order. they're lying! She's lying! I'm gonna kill you! She's trying to get me killed! Counsel, restrain your client. In light of that information, if confirmed, bail is denied on Johnson. John, if I stand strong, if I, if I refuse to testify, Can I get a pass? Swear it. Swear it on your kid's grave. You won't kill me. How am I gonna kill a ghost? Has the jury reached a verdict? We, the jurors, in the above case, find the defendant, John Gotti, not guilty. I won this trial fair and square after Sammy Gravano bribed the juror with my third victory over the government. The media nicknamed me the Teflon Don. I guess it's stuck. Mr. Gotti, are you the head of the Gambino crime family? The head of my family. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. Buried a son. You want me to bury another, then you will bury me too. You swore to me in our own bed. You promised that you would not bring him into that world. What world are you talking about? Tell me the world you're talking about. I brought him into this world. You brought him into this world. Oh, come on. Shut the f up. You don't know what you're oh, Where are you going? Get back here. Fuck. Council. I've made a decision to excuse jurors 7 and 11 from jury duty. Those jurors were good for us. This is a railroad job. Five trials in three years. Enough now. Enough! No. No. Animals. They are railroading my son. They are doing to you what they did to your father. Bastards! Why don't you just shoot them in the head? Take them out back and shoot them Man, right this now. is my courtroom. If you can't handle yourself, I'm going to find you. Let me tell you something. New York is the greatest city in the world. My city. I was a kid in these streets, and I made it to the top. I made my bones doing a piece of work for Don Carlo Gambino. Like that, I became a made man. Dad, I'm thinking maybe take a year off. <laughs> you want to hang out with me? <laughs> Do you know what you're doing to this family? I will build something that nobody can destroy. So Paul Castellano was a fish in the desert. I never respected Paul. You killed the boss's boss. You would bring down hellfire. There is no choice. You'll need the support of all five boroughs. Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, the Bronx. Our job now is to maintain leadership. I nominate John Gotti. To the new boss! Oh. I'm so proud of you. You should be running your own crew now. 
Mr. Gotti, are you the head of the Gambino crime family? The head of my family. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. John's getting too much press. That can't go unchecked. It was meant for you. We've never been under this kind of scrutiny before. What were you saying on the tapes? I said a lot of things that could get a lot of people in trouble. Dad, you say the word, I'll go for a cliff for you. You swore to me that you would not bring him into that world. This life of ours is a wonderful life if you can get away with it. Johnson has been an informant for the FBI. It's a damn lie! As a father, the idea of you being in prison made me sick. Never back off, ever. Let everybody know. Now everybody comes to me. Hey, so I hope you liked the video. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes of a movie that us viewers sometimes never realize. For example, do you remember from Pulp Fiction that nurse shredding scene when Vincent Vega brings Mia 